I wish they paid me to talk about them, you know? It's still here, you know, it's still hanging on. Ah! Don't box dye your hair. Don't box dye your hair. Don't box dye your hair. Hey guys, how are we? Welcome back to my channel. How are we doing? Are we well? Are we hydrated? Are we caffeinated? More importantly, I am. Semi. But there's nothing wrong with a semi, it has potential. Today we're going to talk about my hair care routine. I want to get something off my chest before we start this video. And, you know, I feel like it's something very important I should say. Something that I haven't said and, you know, something that I feel like you guys should know because I feel like, you know, you guys know me. I come on here, I make videos, you know my personality. So it's a bit of a tough thing to say and, like, I hope you guys take it the right way and I hope that no one takes it the wrong way. Don't box dye your hair during self-isolation, okay? Okay? That is my first bit of hair advice. When I was younger, I box dyed my hair blue-black. Out of all colours to box dye my hair. I box dyed my hair blue black. Do you know how long it took to get that out of my hair? I box dyed my hair blue black for years and then I decided I wanted to go blonde. Do you know how hard it was to go blonde? How uneven my hair came out? How the hairdressers didn't know what chemicals were in the box dye? So I nearly had a chemical reaction. Don't box dye your hair. Don't box dye your hair. Don't box dye your hair. Well, as I've referenced in a few of my recent vlogs, I feel like my hair is growing quite quickly. If you don't know my kind of hair journey, I guess, this time last year I had highlights, like I was full head highlights blonde. And then last April, I did scalp bleach and pink. So I was like cherry blossom pink. So cool. But my hair was like, I'm gonna say like this short, like basically a bob. Like it was so short, I'll insert a picture here. And then I went traveling in Thailand and I just used hair masks to, cause obviously the pink faded out so quickly. So I just used hair masks hair masks in Thailand to brighten the blonde because underneath the pink it was obviously blonde and they worked really well and then since coming back I did I think I did scalp bleach one more time after that and then I was like okay I want my hair to be long strong and thick so I started to go back to the dark side and now the most recent color I've got in my hair is a bluey black but it's at the hairdressers but I haven't got my hair done in ages. You can probably see my roots. Maybe not actually, the lighting isn't too strong on them. So yeah, at the moment my hair is dyed kind of its natural color, maybe like one or two shades darker than my natural hair color. Um, obviously because of coir, because of self-isolation, self because of social distancing, I haven't got my hair done and uh, the roots are not pretty, but you know, it's fine. I feel like my hair is in really good condition at the moment. It's growing really fast. It feels strong. And like for a gal who had a full scalp bleach not even a year ago, like my hair is doing very well. She's very, she's not as frizzy as she used to be. She's not as like dry. I worked in a hair salon when I was in Sydney. And I remember one of the guys there, he was like the head colorist, like the top colorist. Like so honest, so blunt. And he was like, you do realize your hair, what did he say? You don't have, um." basically my head hair was dead from like my ears down. He was like, from your ears down, your hair is fucked. I was like, thank you so much. Like, thanks, that's great. So we're on mission, get my hair healthy, get my hair long. Like I want, I very thick hair. I've always had very thick hair, which, serves me well because with the amount I have bleached, not I have, hairdressers, have bleached my hair, dyed my hair and everything like that, like it's it's still here, you know, it's still hanging on. I'm in the middle of growing out my hair and I wanted to share with you today the products that I am using that I swear by at the moment. I don't have oily hair at all. My hair would definitely be on the more dry side, frizzy, dry, like all the ends obviously were bleach. Obviously a lot of my hair would be damaged. I think coir and self-isolation is a great time 
to give your hair a break from heat if you've been using too much heat in it, too much styling, and to just really take care of your hair. Like what better time to start taking care of your hair when you can't leave the house anyway, you know? And like not everyone's job is to film themselves for the internet so they don't even have to look good. I swear to God, if I didn't have to film and stuff, I would do like a total makeup detox throughout this time as well. Here we are. We're gonna start with supplements. These supplements I absolutely swear by. I've actually reached out to the company and been like, hey, do you want to work together? Because I've been using them for four years, maybe more, on and off. I didn't use them at all when I was in Australia just because I couldn't get them. Well, I probably could have ordered them online, but I didn't. But I've used them on and off throughout the years when I've been dyeing my hair. And they always just keep my hair healthy. They grow, like my hair was so long and so thick before I started going intensely blonde last time. I swear by these. So these are the Hair Burst Healthy Hair Vitamins. This is not an ad not sponsored, even though I wish it was because I swear by them that much that like I wish they paid me to talk about them, you know? If you follow me anywhere, you've heard me talk about these. I swear by these. It has things like vitamin A, D3, C, thiamine, Folic acid, B6, B12, biotin, it has collagen, minerals, amino acids, and vitamins A, B, C, and D. So yeah, I swear by these, they I really see my hair growing with them. Obviously, last year um, after I did scalp bleach, and obviously when your hair has been bleached and stuff, it doesn't grow as fast, so you have to kind of kickstart the growth again I guess. I swear by these you do have to definitely use them for over a month to see them to work. You know I feel like it takes them a while to get into your system and get working. They actually have a sale on at the moment and I think it's finished at 12 o'clock tonight so I'll link that down below but it's the last day of their sale online buy one get one free. You basically get two months for 30 euro. I absolutely swear by them. I'm just gonna go with like accessories and stuff first before I start talking about shampoos and conditioners. So this is actually from the Hair Burst brand and this is just one I got in TK Maxx but these are silk scrunchies. So if you're tying up your hair with like a really shitty quality hair bobble all the time it can actually like cause your hair to break more, which is not what we want. We do not want breakage. Also as well, I've stopped tying my hair up. So I don't tie my hair like up in a high ponytail or like I don't pull it back as much just because it can damage like the hair around your hairline. And obviously when you do scalp bleach and stuff like the hair around your hairline can get affected and break off. If I'm tying my hair up, normally I just put it in a low bun like this. So like middle split in a low bun or I plait it or low ponytail. I try not to tie my hair up just cause I know that like I want my hair to grow. So these are things I'm doing. You know, you can tie your hair up in a ponytail if you want, but it's just not the best for your hair. So yeah, I've been using silk hair bobbles anytime I do tie my hair up. The next thing, which is beside me, this is a Egyptian cotton pillowcase. Now you might be like, Rebecca, why on earth are you showing me your pillowcase? What has this got to do with anything? Quality of your pillowcase can actually affect your hair. Like silk, is the best to sleep on for your hair and your skin. But silk pillowcases are like 100 euro. I am going to buy one though. I do plan on buying one. I might treat myself to one for my birthday, which is in April, just because I really want to try it out and like see, but I definitely noticed that sleeping on um, a good quality pillowcase, when I wake up, my hair isn't a lion's mane like crazy. Do you know the way sometimes you wake up and you're like, what happened to my hair? Especially if you're like me and you've really frizzy hair. A good quality pillow is, key like i'm not even lying you might think i'm lying but i'm not so that is um i actually got that cheap i got two of them for 10 euro and tk max so they're egyptian cotton 500 thread count or something pillowcases we're going to move on to shampoos so i'm alternating these shampoos at the moment but this is actually my favorite one this isn't my favorite shampoo to be honest this is the christoph robin prickly pear shampoo. Now I only got this because I love the Christoph Robin prickly pear hair mask. If you need a good hair mask to repair your hair, the Christoph Robin prickly pear one is amazing. I'm out of it at the moment, but I said I'd try the shampoo as well last time that I bought it. So I did. It says it's good for dry and damaged hair, which I think it is. 
it has no parabens, silicones, SLS or color, colorant, which is good because if your shampoo has silicones, that means silicones are like plastics, so it coats your hair. So your hair might look really shiny, but actually it's just coated in like wax. We don't stand low quality shampoos on this channel. If your shampoo is like the same price as a cup of coffee, no, sis, no. You might be like, oh my God, yeah, but it's fine. My hair looks always so shiny and so healthy and blah, blah, blah. They're so bad for your hair. They coat your scalp, they coat your hair. You get loads of product build up in your hair. It prevents your hair from growing. And also all the chemicals and stuff in cheap shampoo, they're literally going onto your scalp and like your scalp, well, and your skin and like every part of your body soaks up whatever you put onto it so if you're putting really cheap chemicals in your scalp then it's like soaking into your head it's not good so i like this but i can only use this as like a second shampoo just because i feel like it doesn't suds up enough for me i don't know why but it doesn't suds up enough for me to feel like i'm getting a deep clean but i like to use this as a second shampoo because i always give my hair two shampoos but what i do recommend from the christoph robin especially if you're blonde he has a baby blonde mask that is like the best blonde mask you will ever use because it tones your hair without going purple or ashy. When I was blonde, I didn't want any ashy or purple tones. They were, just weren't my vibe. So I wanted like the Scandinavian baby blonde vibe, not like the ashy gray blonde. It just wasn't my vibe. So if you like very bright blonde, but you don't want it to be ashy or gray or go purple, then that mask is amazing. And also the Christoph Robin prickly pear hair mask is amazing, but I'm totally out of it. And I didn't keep the bottle and I showed up. Then we have this shampoo, which is actually new in my life. I've used it, I think three times, but if you like which shampoo, you can tell straight away, like if they work. If you're used to using like good quality shampoos, it's kind of easy to tell. This shampoo, it leaves my hair sparkling, my scalp, sparkles after this so it's by bumble and bumble i'd never used anything from bumble and bumble before i tried this so this is a weekly detoxifying shampoo that removes residue or build up so if you're a person who uses a lot of dry shampoo oils in their hair hairsprays this gives your hair the most amazing clean Oh my god, it's so nice. It literally has like ginseng in it. Now it actually isn't recommended for colour treated hair because it says it can strip your hair but I haven't noticed it stripped my hair much to be honest or at all. Also I kind of want to get away from the very black hair so I was like to be honest if this strips my hair a little bit that's fine but this shampoo it leaves my scalp sparkling. I tend to get dry scalp like my scalp can start flaking and stuff it's very annoying this is a lifesaver it just makes my scalp feel so clean so sparkly it's fab i love it also i only wash my hair once a week if i can um at most twice a week at most so moving on to conditioner this one as well is from the bumble and bumble range so it's the creme de coco conditioner now this conditioner, I wish you could smell it through the screen. It smells so nice. It's like coconut and shea butter and shea oil and like those rich smells. So this is an indulgent conditioner with tropical oils and butters for rich moisture. So this will really moisturize your hair because obviously the Sunday shampoo is more of a clarifying one. So to balance that out then I got the creme de coco conditioner. These actually look quite small but they're 250 ml. And don't worry, I will link everything below. I get these on Look Fantastic, but I think Boots have actually started stocking them too. But whatever link I put in the description will be like the best price I find. Because you all know I love a bargain. So yeah, this is for dry coarse hair. Obviously my hair is very coarse and quite dry. So we love this and we leave it in, do our bits in the shower and then rinse it out on my hair just feels, you only need the tiniest bit and it's so, so nice. So then when I come out of the shower, before I dry my hair, cause I do dry my hair after the shower because if you leave your hair wet, your hair is more susceptible to breakage. Your hair is weaker when it's wet. So it can break easier um, if you tie it up, it's not very good. 
So I prefer to dry my hair when I come out of the shower. That's a new thing in my life. I didn't own a hair dryer up till like Christmas. But I dry my hair, but before I dry my hair, I use this. It's the Wella Thermal Image Heat Protection Spray. This stuff is amazing. It smells so good. It protects my hair from the heat. I love it. Heat protector is absolutely key, especially when we're trying to grow our hair, okay? This I use then when my hair is dry. If I strain it, if I don't, I put a teeny tiny bit of this through. So this is the Wella System Professionals Lux Oil. Now again, this stuff literally smells like hair perfume. It's the nicest hair oil ever. The girls in Patrick's, uh, my local hair salon, the hair salon that I go to, introduced me to this. And every time they used to put it in my hair, I'd be like, oh my God, that's like hair perfume. So I bought it. So I put it in after I dry my hair, after I straighten my hair, I just put a bit through the ends. It just gives your hair a lovely shine. I also found out there's another use for this. As a scalp treatment, it helps keep your scalp nice and healthy. So what I do is I put a few drops and I massage it into my scalp and I go woo and give my hair a lovely massage and leave it in then. I either leave it in for five minutes overnight, it depends what I'm doing, and then that gets rid of any dryness in my scalp, which is key. You can also use it as an overnight mask, which I actually did this week. So you apply it into dry or wet hair, it doesn't really matter. I do it when my hair is dry because normally I do a hair mask before I wash my hair. So we love that as well. This little bottle is so good. I have a 30 ml bottle. You can also get 100 ml, which is actually way better value and would last forever because the 30 ml bottle lasts me so long because you literally only need like a pump, half a pump, like it's very concentrated. You don't want to put too much oil in your hair and only put it on the ends. I would never put oil higher than my ear, basically. Now I'm gonna show you what I use on my hair. So like my hairbrush, my hair dryer and my straightener. The hair dryer I use is this one, Remington Advanced Color Protect hair dryer. To be honest, I don't know much about hair dryers. I don't know, do different hair dryers do different things? Are some hair dryers better than others? But I know that this one is made to protect your hair. I never use the hottest setting. I always use the medium heat setting because I feel like no one needs that hot of air going onto their hair, you know, it's too hot. And this, basically I got it because it was half price. Oh, look at that cute little rainbow on me, sorry. Oh, look at that. Okay, anyway. Um, but yeah, I got this because it was half price, so I think it was reduced from like 80 or 90 euro down to like 30 or 40. So I was like, a 40 euro hair dryer that is worth 80 euro is definitely something I need. It has a cool setting and yeah. And I always use it with the nozzle on so it doesn't, frizz up my hair because if you use it like that I feel like you can your hair can go more frizzy where if you use it with the nozzle then you can like control the air I don't know so that's the hair dryer I use straighteners I use the GHD ones now I used to use the cloud nine but the cloud nine goes up a lot hotter than the GHD so I feel like I was using a lot more heat on my hair with cloud nine because I always just put it up to the hottest, like who doesn't? Whereas with the JHD, it just goes on and off. There's only one heat setting, one temperature, one way. So I use it to straighten my hair. And when I straighten my hair, I do one strand and then move on. I don't re-straighten a strand loads of times cause you don't need to. And then my hair brush, which I should probably get a new one cause I've had this for a while now, but do you know what I do? I'll tell you. So this is the Chateau by Frankie's hairbrush. So it has like all the gaps in it. It literally, no matter how knotty your hair is, it will get out the knots. It doesn't hurt. I don't know, it's some sort of magic. But to clean my hairbrush, I basically get, you know, there's the flora stuff that's like disinfectant. So it's like antibacterial with water and I just spray it on my hairbrush and like let it air dry. I don't know if that's supposed to how you're supposed to clean your hairbrush. That's how I do it. Some of you are looking at me being like, you clean your hairbrush? Girl, clean your hairbrush. Before I get in the shower, I brush my hair fully. I brush like, say if my hair is oily on the top because after a week of not washing it, it would be some bit oily. So I brush the oils like through my hair because they're like your natural hair oils. I enjoy brushing my hair and I enjoy using this hairbrush. 
So I'll try and link that down below if I can find out. I know Patrick's my local salon do it. So if you live anywhere near me, you can contact them. Even though everything is on lockdown and they are closed at the moment, they're still doing like deliveries of products and stuff to people, which I think is great, you know? Yeah, that's everything I use in my hair, I think. They're all my hair tips. My hair is definitely growing. She's very thick. That is everything I recommend doing for your hair, all the products that I use. If you wanna try out any of the products I've mentioned, I, all, I recommend them all 10 out of 10, especially if you have a similar hair type to me. I'm just gonna say it again before I go. We are not box dyeing, sorry. Oh. The rainbow's in my mouth, sorry. But yes, we are not box dyeing our hair during coir, okay? You mightn't be taking me seriously now because it looks like there's a rainbow coming out of my mouth, but we're not, okay? We are not box dyeing our hair during coir. Don't you even think about it. Do not bleach your hair at home. Don't box dye your hair darker at home. Don't box dye your hair lighter at home. Just don't do it. You don't need to. When this is done, you can go to a hair salon, get your hair done by someone who knows what they're doing, okay? So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video of everything I use on my hair. If you have any recommendations for hair products that you love, let me know in the comments. If you've tried or if you use any of the products, I use let me know as I say in every video guys if you like my vibe do not forget to subscribe if you like these kind of videos definitely give it a thumbs up I can do my skincare routine my makeup routine my morning routine my evening routine whatever routine you want okay comment down below what you want to see next thank you so much for watching guys I will see you in the next one goodbye